Hi, this is Caleb from Practical Daz Advice, and today I'm going to show you how to take any picture and make it into a design for a t-shirt. We're going to be using this amazing uh, dragon fantasy-like uh, wallpaper that I found on this website right here. This website. That's the one I'm going to be using. So let's dive right in. First thing we want to do is we want to load up our character, get the t-shirt we want, get the surface selector tool and select the shirt, go to surfaces, click on diffuse color, hit browse, left click on the location, right click copy the location. Then go to our area, I already have it up but I'll you want to come up to your area here, so let's say I'm here. Right click, paste, hit enter, takes you right to that location. Let's bring up Photoshop now. I want to grab the black shirt because I want the background to be black. So now that I have that, I get my painting that I'm going to make. Uh, just because I happen to know and have worked on this already this this is the front so I'm going to be putting the t-shirt there uh, I and my playing around with it I found that it looks better when it pretty much covers the t-shirt so I'm going to move it somewhere in the realms like that I'm then going to make a layer mask layer mask revealing all and I'm going to drop the opacity of this down so I can see the edges now my layer mask I'm going to get a brush that's fairly easy uh, no hardness 50% opacity and I'm going to be a little bigger yeah, I'm going to wipe away some of the hard edges. Not all of them, but rid of those hard edges. There we go. Now I'm going to boost the opacity back up and I'm going to make this uh, screen. Okay. I'm then going to hit Control J and I'm going to make this one multiply. I'm then going to hit Control J and I'm going to make this one hard light. I'm going to go down to my screen. I'm going to drop that to 50%. Okay. I'm going to go to hard light. I'm going to put that at 75. And my multiply, I'm going to drop that to uh, 50. No, I want to do 25. Yeah, there we go. Okay. That looks pretty good. I'm going to save this as a Photoshop file first. I'm then going to save as a JPEG. So test dragon, that's what I have it as. Save it, hit OK. I'm going to go back to my DAWs. I am going to select all of the material for the shirt. So there we go. Go to diffuse left click hit browse there's my test dragon open it up wait for it to load that is not correct yep it's it's cached an old file that's the problem 
There's, if you run into that problem, because as you're trying stuff out, it will cache old files, is simply save it as, save as, save it as a JPEG, and just add a different, a different name. So something beyond your tests, or I can even change it to, uh, final. Just, you have to change the name. If you run into that problem, because what it is, is DAWs has saved a cache of the texture so you see the the texture here doesn't line up with the texture there that just means that it's saved a cache and it's pulling from the cache not from the actual file saving the name is the quickest way to fix that problem loads up there we go let's do a test render see how that looks And it looks great. If I wanted to add this onto the back, I would uh, you take uh, your edges and you move them. So you take your edges here and you move them down onto this, reversing and flipping. So you would want to grab your your tools like that. Make a new layer with them. And move them accordingly. It's usually more work than it's worth, but just so you know, and that will uh, add a little more touch to it. I don't terribly bother, um, but you see, you have the you do have a line like right there, and you could you could blend it into the back if you so wanted. But overall, this looks nice. Um, it's a great first step. Play with it. Learn with it. This is Caleb from Practical Dad's Advice. Like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe. Tell me in the comments what you think. Tell me in the comments other tutorials that you want to learn. Peace.